Good day everyone and welcome to day 8 of the Bailey's Do Disney Orlando Disney World Series vlog. I keep changing the name of that, whether it's Orlando Series vlog or Disney World vlog, I keep changing the name. You think, when we come away, you always say we're going to Disney World, don't you? Yeah. And I always say we're going to Orlando because it's more than just Disney World, but essentially, does anyone care? Does anyone care? I bet none of you, everyone, like you're just like, you're wasting 10 seconds of this vlog, shut up. So I'll do that. Um, <laughs> like you. Story of my life. Yeah, story of our life. <laughs> um, we're going to uh, Animal Kingdom, first thing. Uh, what's uh, what's our plan, Animal Kingdom? We're watching what? the Lion King show. Lion King show, yeah. Can you tell gonna... I've gone on about that? Can yeah. you tell? <laughs> we're going to watch the Lion King show. What else did we say we're going to do? Get our face painted. Def we, every time we go to Animal <laughs> Kingdom, we get our face painted. So hopefully that can still happen today. Tusker House for bre uh, sorry for lunch. What is Tusker House? Tusker House is a character diner, similar to oh. Chef Mickey's, but it's all safari themed. Oh yeah, me and Kellen have got our Kenyan t-shirts on. I got these from Kenya when I went last year. Outfit of the day. Um, what have you got? Uh, it's a bit of an outfit of the day session this going on now. Lion King. Stitch. It's Stitch. Well, Stitch inspired. Stitch inspired Lion King. Lion King. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. So good. Yeah. At uh, Disney Store. Yeah. So that is us packed up in Butterfly 17. Remember, future Mike. Remember where we are. What's our plan now, Callum? We go straight. To get our face painted. Straight away. Face paint straight away. Yes. Yeah. Babe, should we get our face painted? Yeah, I think that's going to happen. I've brought wet wipes anyway, just pay just in. No clouds in the sky. Sarah's updating our Instagram at the minute, doing a reel. Uh, if you uh, want to go check out, it's on Instagram, Bailey's Do Disney. Uh, we'll put it down there anyway, so yeah, you can watch it. Uh, we've updated all the stories, and at the bottom, we've thumbnailed all the stories from the whole, from the whole, uh, basically the whole trip it's a good way to just keep memories isn't it like vlogging a lot of people do vlogging for, to, to influence others others do it just to keep memories I think we do it for a bit of both really it's good to be informative it's good to just look back at stories and videos it's brilliant but we said it last week um, Animal Kingdom is definitely the hottest park isn't it do you think that I think so weird really but I don't know how but yeah um, that being said, we're using at the minute. We're using. I'm using Factor 50, uh, which I bought from the UK. Yeah. It is. It is cold at the minute because it's the morning. It's not cold. It's still like 20 odd degrees. I'm using Factor 50. Sarah's on Factor 30, and the kids we got from Walmart. It's Factor 70. Um, they did have. Fa fa no, they, we didn't get Factor 100, and the reason is we got told that Factor 100, 100, isn't as good as people believe. Comment down below if you know anything about this, because surely the higher the factor, the better the factor, but apparently it isn't as good as people would have you believe. And another re another thing I want to ask, why don't they have factor 100 or anything above 50 in the UK, but they have it in America? Does anyone actually know that? Because if you do, I'd love to know the answer. So yeah, comment down below the reason why that is, if you know. Surely someone must know. There's a man walking around with a dog near bag search, making me miss our little pom bear. It, it was, isn't he? Doing bag searches. Miss today. Oh, what well now? This will be interesting. Let's see what happens with bag search. We're on a roll. That's the second time in a row that we've not been uh, called through bag search. Is Callum with us? Oh, my son. <laughs> I'm just walking through like, yeah, we've got. Where's my son? Where is he? Here he is. Here he is. You wait there, man, to get called forward, yeah? We'll wait here. Yeah, I was like, that's the second time in a row that. Well, in fact, that bag there, it's that bag. That's the one I had the first week of the trip. Must be something in that bag or on that bag that, that scans through and shows something. Paige has got a little Simba teddy. What's his name, Rory? Raw. Rory. Or Raw. Raw. Okay, Raw. Rory Tiger, he's a lion. A lion. What are you lying for? I'm here all day. Spread it, there we go. There we go, we're in. There you go, Callum. Let me do you, sir. Go, mummy.
How lucky are these ducks? Imagine being, if I'm ever reincarnated, I want to be a duck, a Disney duck. Why? Because imagine having that life. Imagine having the life of a Disney duck. You happy? Yeah. So I'm happy. Are you happy, Callum? Yeah, very. What day is it say Monday? Yes. You should be at school right now. I know. Such bad parents. <laughs> no. Or awesome parents. You decide. Awesome. Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> we just walked past the otters and it honestly stinks. I know you're in Animal Kingdom, but the stench is like, it reminds me of a public car park, you know, like, yeah. Public car park? Do you mean a bathroom? No, a public car park. You know when you go to an underground car park in Chatham and it stinks of urine? <laughs> urine or urine? Urine. 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 <laughs> Why did I ask that? As if I didn't know how to say urine. Um, yeah, I didn't want to swear. But, um, oh, oh yeah, monkeys. Let's have a look at them, guys. That girl just said, so cute, when Paige ran in front of her, I wouldn't have been saying the same thing. But look, a very premature, random, tangent tip of the day. Um, it's not, it is a tip, but basically I'm seeing a load of people walk around with babies. And then when we say to people sometimes, or we've heard a lot of people say, oh, I wouldn't go with my kid until they're a bit older so they can experience, or so, so they can remember it or get memories from it. My advice, I don't know about Sarah's, but my advice would be take them now, take them while they're babies. It's not about them having the memories, it's you that has the memories. We took Paige when she was one Callum and the memories. Half of yeah, Callum was six and seven. Six and seven when we went, or something around that age. He doesn't remember a lot of it. But um, in fact, where is he? I think we've lost our son. Oh, there he is. Where, what happened? I asked them if they had a map, but apparently they have. Yeah, this is the second time now we forgot a map when we come into a park. So, uh, yeah, we'll find one though. But yeah, that's my advice is take your kids so you have the memories. Not just for them, because honestly, it's the most amazing thing ever, isn't it? We're going to record them if that's okay. You excited, Paige? Put my lion. Do you want to put your lion this way so you can see? Do you want to be a lion today? It costs, it's $25 per person, so $100 each, uh, sorry, for everyone, if you can see that, yeah, $100 for everyone, it's a tradition, so we always do it, um, free touch -ups until yeah, 6 free touch-ups until 6pm, I don't remember that being the thing last time, which you definitely need, because, yeah, as you can imagine, the sweat is unreal, but yeah, I went for a tiger, Callum's gone for a pirate, Paige has gone for a lion, and Mummy's gone for a cheetah, so, Hopefully, a full face Hopefully full face. Last time she went, it wasn't as full face. I think they were trying to be subtle and she wasn't happy. So. I want it full faced. Wow, you look amazing, Paige. <laughs> Do you like it? it? Okay. Make sure you let it wow. go. Wow. Okay? Are you the camera? Are you the camera lady now? <laughs> oh, wow. It doesn't get much better, does it? Working at Disney, painting faces. Yeah, it's fun. You can find out. So when she was doing me, she was like, I'm just gonna do, make sure I don't get um, the paint on your eyelashes. So she oh. was really nice. Yeah, yeah. The one I had was really quick as well. She was good. But yeah, they're just so talented, aren't they? Imagine so, having that so as a job. the lady said that they do do a lot of adults. However, they said that it's usually the men that want the full face and then the women just want the pretty things away from all of the uh, makeup got and everything. You. So that's, if, yeah. if you can't get your face painted at Disney, when can you get it done as an adult? Do you know what I mean? Paige? Get Chester Zoo like we did. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of looks I'm getting as I'm walking past, like... Do you care? No! no. So go and get your face painted. Pongu Pongu. We're here today. Again. For, again. We're going to try the Pongu Lumpia this time, aren't we? Because we're hungry. We weren't really hungry last time, but... Kids yeah, are in the shade. Yeah, kids are in the shade. On cell phones. What else would you be doing when you're in Disney? Um, yeah, we're going to get one of those Night Blossom drinks again, right? Yes. And then a Pongu Lumpia. We just had, um, we were getting our we picture, like? we had just had our picture taken. There was a group of people to the left of us, like, pretty much just stood where we were getting our picture taken. And, uh... <laughs> and I, an angry tiger told us to move on down. I was like, look... <laughs> scoot on over is the I word I said scoot, used. I've never used that word in my life. And then after I left, I thought, they probably must have thought, that bloke was dressed as a tiger. I had his face painted like a tiger trying to have a go at us. Probably the least intimidating thing ever, but... Yeah, it is frustrating, but hey, didn't really matter, did it? 
the uh, what was his name? Do you remember the, the photographer? He was so good. The photographer, so many photographers here, are so good. So we went for the Pongu Lumpie and then the Night Blossom again. Okay, this is the Pongu Lumpie, which is pineapple and cream cheese. It's hot. Spring roll. So good. I don't know if you'd like it if you don't like pineapple, but yeah, it's really good. Fam, no. you don't really. Sarah doesn't really like pineapple, so I didn't think she was gonna. I like, like pineapple, it, just not savoury. Yeah, pineapple. yeah. Can I try it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not a fan. Go try it, baby. Try this. You'll no, like it, babe. Like it's like it. a pineapple pizza. No. Not a fan. Oh, well, oh, that's one out of four. Not good odds. This is the place where you come for the cheeseburger pods. I just asked him where you get the cheeseburger pods. He just told me. Wow, look at this. So we just went for the cheeseburger steam pods. We've been told we need to try them. Um, although, what is the time? Eleven. And what time's two? Two. Oh, it's fine. This is just a meal. One meal that we're going to share between four of us. So, yeah, the the menu looks really good. It was thirteen dollars sixty-two for an adult meal that comes with two pods a side of chips and a side of coleslaw so that's not actually that bad price is it um and the yeah. meals in america are massive like, yeah they're really really big honestly. and we only really wanted this for a snack anyway didn't we yeah. yeah we just wanted it for a snack so it's not like we really cared because we've got a reservation at tusk house in about three hours so i think this is nicely tickets over in it yeah we have to try them <laughs> oh yeah you got little uh boba balls on there as well same as in the uh, midnight blossom what are you taking them <laughs> That's enough, come on. Considering the park is so busy today, it's so quiet in here. Like, it's really quiet. Um, it's quite early for lunch though. Yeah, it is quite early actually. Just turn the menu over. Also, we've just realised when we got it that chips aren't chips. So we were expecting fries, but still, it looks good. Um, really looking forward to trying it actually. I didn't know that they don't call fries. I know, we knew, we just, I just didn't, I didn't, yeah, I just didn't expect to have crisps with cheeseburger pods it's like um it's like a doughy sort of mm. texture i think i think i've seen these in disneyland hong no hong kong it's an asian it looks asian i'm pretty sure dumplings and like these sort of things are good oh are they good <laughs> yeah vlog me mate i'm gonna try it that is amazing okay I'm ready for this. I've been looking forward to this for so long. It's like one of the things that's been on my list. It's so good. It's kind of like soft, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very weird texture. It's like um, like doughy sort of. Yeah. Oh wow. Nice. Do you not want that page? I do. Oh, you do. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Yeah, it's really good. It's like, it tastes like a, it tastes like a McDonald's cheeseburger. Hmm. Better. No, if that's what you have to describe the taste of, it's like a McDonald's cheeseburger. The sauce, like yeah. As far as the chips go, not great at all. Very bland and just yeah, flavorless. Not even salted. Just but I suppose you're not buying the pods for the chips, are you? Or yeah, or the crisps. Coleslaw is okay, again not amazing but decent enough, but the pods are good, so. You're a chip product, sir, what do you think? Bland? That would be my word to describe it. They're good. They just need a bit more salt or flavour. Well, they do say everything is bigger in Orlando, or in America, should I say. The size of that crisp, bigger than your head, put it up to your head. I've got paint on it now. Where? Ah, oh, the paint's edible. You can eat that. I'll eat it. I'll eat it too. At 10, I'd say the Pongolumpia was a 7. It wasn't great, it was nice, but it wasn't anything I'd write him about. 
the Night Blossom drink, which, as you can tell, that is a, that is a solid drink, isn't it? That's like an 8.5, 9 maybe. That's a solid drink. And the cheeseburger pods, 100 and a million. And the cheeseburger pods, they were good, weren't they? Again, they were probably 8.5, I'd say. They weren't, I get, they were nice. They weren't life changing, but they were nice. We love our food, don't we? Oh, yeah. That is like the trick for us is a lot of it's food. We love food, don't we, guys? Yeah. See. See. We are now going to Africa. Africa to watch the Lion King show. I'm going to go for a coffee first, though, just to. No, you are not. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I want some. Yeah. See, Jambo. Jambo. Habariako. Zulizana. Well, Kenya. Yeah, I was there last year with the army. Oh. Yeah, so we got these. Kenyan. Yeah. Well, the dad wears your t-shirt. <laughs> they well, didn't have it first. They didn't get us one. Didn't get us one. Yeah, you, you want to go and take this too. <laughs> you excited to see Lion King show page of flops? Yeah. But you, Callum? Yeah. If it's as good as I remember it being, I'm really excited. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. My arms look big. I'm just sorry, I'm getting complimented on my arms here. It's my wife, so. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Callum, where the pirates shop? We are. Argos. <laughs> oh my god. Callum, why are pirates always angry? Because they are. Callum, what does a pirate drive? Never bite you, idiot. We are here today to welcome you, one and all, to a celebration of the festival of the Lion King. Jeez, time. The show can begin. Hey, what are you doing? Slow down, slow down. I'm supposed to be center stage. Who's driving this thing? So that's us out of uh, the Lion King. Is it the Lion King show? The Festival of the Lion King? Yeah, Festival yes. of the Lion King. So Guys, so Paige, good. how was that show? Good, amazing. It is I so good. give it. A thumbs up. Yeah, it was so good. So they've changed a lot since um, since COVID, basically. they changed a lot of the show, but I still thought it was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. If not better, maybe. I, do I miss don't the monkeys, the tumbling monkeys. Are yeah, I can't say better. That's a bit silly. But we're going to go and find. Um, it's tough to be a bug now. I don't know where it is in the park. We're going to find out and then we've got Tusk House after that. It's the circle. of life. And this is us on the way to It's Tough to be a bug. It was only a 10 minute standby, but we fast passed anyway. So it's a t it's it's tough to be a bug. What do you think? Yeah, it was really good. It was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a lot of fun. We got shot with acid. We got shot with acid, yeah. And then spiders fell from the ceiling. What did you think of the spiders? Don't like spiders. Yeah, Paige, I thought she might be a bit jumpy. We didn't tell her about it. She wasn't that bothered. She was like, oh, look, spiders. Jungle trek, monkeys, tigers, and dragons. Dragons? Dragons. Dragons. Thank you. It's so cute. They're so cute, aren't they? Are you done with those ducks? Are you done with those ducks, Paige? Yeah, they've got a nest up there. Lightning Lane Expedition Everest time. Paige did Expedition Everest again. Yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. Mummy so and good. Callum love that ride, don't you? So good. You want to what? I'm going to give it What are you going to give it? Yeah, thumbs up. Callum, you love that ride, don't you? If you've never done it before, yeah, there's a few surprises on it. But yeah, 
for, for like, I'd say it's one of the most intense Disney rides, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It definitely gets your stomach going and yeah, it's really good. But um, so good. we're going to go Tusk Owls now. And then after that, we're just going to go back to the villa and jump in the pool and just relax. It's been quite a nice day today, hasn't it? Like a really Olive nice day. Olive Garden tonight. Olive Garden tonight. Tusk Owls now, Olive Garden tonight. Relax this afternoon. All in all, perfect day. Okay, I've got a question. What's your favourite ride on Disney? Yeah, so for me, it would have to be, it's a difficult one. I'd say Flight of Passage because it was amazing, although it did make me a bit motion sickness. Motion sick, motion sickness, it gave me motion sickness. So that would be mine just for the ride in general. Yeah. I'd pick that over Rise of Resistance, but what about you guys? Um, I think I'd have to say that one. Really? Over Big Thunder Mountain? Yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's the yeah, it's the adrenaline of how you feel afterwards. But I love Big Thunder What about you, mate? I'm not actually sure. There's Paige, loads. what's your favourite ride? Have you got a favourite? No. Tower of Terror? All of them are my favourite. All of them. You like Tower of oh, Terror? Oh, all of Disney? Yeah. Oh, okay, then Tower of Terror. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you meant like... In my question movie. to you guys, no, no, all of Disney. My question to you guys is what is your favourite ride in the whole of Disney? Because you hear it so many times and, and I'm guessing a lot of you are going to say um, Rise of Resistance. And it was good. But it was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing when it was like good, not even, yeah. But yeah, what's your favourite ride? Comment down below because I'm really interested to hear what everyone's favourite ride is. That is an amazing backdrop, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at all the animals on it. Can you see all the animals on the tree? You've got the owl, there's bats, there's all sorts. Anyway, we're going to be late if we don't go now. Guys, look who it is. Look, Paige. Wait there, guys. I'm sitting next to Mickey for a picture, right over here. Record it, Sarah. Can we get a green picture? We've got our drinks. We've got the salad, which looks really good. They are a bit full, aren't they? We've got... um. Poppadoms essentially, some bread and then some dips, so those like mango, I'm not sure that pesto maybe. So that's mac and cheese. That's Holy shrimp. Yep. We're gonna see chicken, pork and steak. Now this guy is our tandoori sauce, it's gonna be a little spicy. Okay, thank you, thank so, you much. so much. This meat here, the beef is so good. Uh, mac and cheese, good. Chicken's good. I've not tried this yet. That's good. Hey, you've got a puppet. Yeah. I've yeah. Got all in all, it's a really good meal. Genuinely, that mac and cheese is the best mac and cheese I've ever had. People always say, "Oh, the best mac and cheese is here or here." That mac and cheese from Tusker House is the best mac and cheese I've ever had. I'm a huge mac and cheese fan, but I don't have it very often. Callum, on the other hand, is a massive mac and cheese fan, so I want to get his advice or his input. Sorry. Very good. Very creamy. It's just very, very. Good. Is it as good as the one? So these are the desserts here. That one looks like a Simba cupcake. That's the Tree of Life, which looks amazing. And that one looks like a lemon honey. Cone. It, they all look really good. But but, I'm having this one. Okay, well the lady's going to come back and tell us what they all are now, I believe. Cupcake, brownie, and honey topper. Okay? Thank you so much. Hi, Bird. It's on the uh, desserts. I haven't even spoke to anyone else yet. The chocolate honey one tasted like a cheap birthday cake from Tesco. Um, the brownie one was okay, but wasn't anything special. And the cupcake was the nicest of the three, but again, wasn't overly special. Uh, that's just my opinion. I'm going to ask Sarah now. I haven't even asked her. I feel like it's a little bit of a bias opinion because I don't like chocolate, so I don't like any of them. But no, it wasn't overly great, but it is what it is. The food itself, the main food, was really good, so that's. That's the main thing for me. I didn't really care about the dessert. That was just a, a nice little token thing. After. So that's just just left Tusker House. Thoughts? Um, food was really good. Service wasn't great. Yeah, service was pretty. Um, the best way to explain it is, if that service was in the UK, you'd think it was just average, like acceptable. For Disney, Orlando, America very very below average um she didn't yeah she wasn't great she you waited 20 minutes to ask for well you asked for butter and you waited 20 minutes uh same as the mac and cheese we asked for mac and cheese because it's basically they bring you more it's so unlimited we asked for mac and cheese and um i am aware that i'm like being really negative here and i don't want to be because the food was really good it's just the service wasn't great but um yeah overall you pay a lot for that meal as well i think that's 200 200 dollars 
Um, and there was a character missing. Yeah, and there was only three characters. And, and the last character, Daisy, seemed to be in a massive rush. She ran, like, pretty much ran to the table, did her signature really quickly, like, hushed, like, done the picture really quickly and ran to the next one. So I don't know if they were behind on time or what. Just wasn't a great... No, no, that's not the, the right thing to say. It wasn't a great experience. It was a good experience. It was... We all saw Minnie, no, sorry, Mickey, Daisy, and Goofy. So it was good. We all got a picture of them. Good memories. It's just for what you pay, for what you expect, wasn't the best. But all in all, it could have been a lot worse. Food was great. Mac and cheese was great. I tried the best mac and cheese I've ever tried, so win win. We ready? Ready yeah. to go home? Yeah. Back to the villa? Yeah. Jump in the pool? Yeah. Yeah. Jinx. Jinx. Jinx again. Jinx. We're um yeah we're leaving Animal Kingdom now. We're gonna go to uh to try and get basically we're on an expedition Everest and our photo hasn't linked on so we're gonna try and see if we can get it linked on at one of the shops as we leave. There's like a little um photo place I think. Anyway, there is in Magic Kingdom, so I'm hoping there is here too. But yeah, that'd be good because it was quite a funny picture actually. Sarah's face and uh Paige's face. I part of Brave Face, that's a crazy ride. It's, it's quite intense for what it is, but yeah, hopefully we can get the picture. That is Animal Kingdom, the second day Animal Kingdom of this trip done. Another good day, yeah. really good day. I'd say the only two things that put a dampener on today was a service in, in Tusk Cows, which really hasn't really put that much of a dampener, really. Um, and the other thing, we were on Expedition Everest, got a really good photo, we could see it, but it won't link to our account. And we went into Guest Relations and the, the photo place and they, they physically linked it to our account. Like, oh, it'll be on there now, and it's not linking to the point where the lady was really confused, wasn't she? Yeah. She was like, "Well, this has never happened before." So yeah, it is what it is. But hopefully that does come on because it's a really good picture. Um, maybe because we've all got our face painted, but who knows? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we've had so many compliments on our faces being painted. But so I'll be we've honest. That. We've had a few compliments and a few dirty looks. No, like, I wouldn't say dirty. Head. So like odd looks, like. I am. We're I've heavy. Had dirty looks. There was dirty. This, like I said, there was this when I went to the bathroom. There was this kid washing his hands, and he just looked at me like, like "Oh my god." We're weird. We're a weird family. And oh, well. what? Oh well. <laughs> um, but yeah, you don't care what people think. Hey, don't look at me like that. Yeah, that's it. We shouldn't be nasty to anyone, should we? Looking forward to getting back to the villa now, taking my face off, jumping in the pool, and getting in that pool. Yeah, so lovely. It's like 32 degrees Celsius here, so it's really warm today. We're just uh, back at the car now. It's 34 degrees currently. That car, I've just been in there, is horrendous. So this isn't really a Mike's random tangent tip of the day, but I guess. There's not much you can do about it, is there? No, no, the only thing I was gonna recommend was go in there, put the aircon on, close the doors. Yeah, close the doors and just wait for a few minutes before you enter it because it is honestly like a sweat box. I've just noticed as well. There's a few scratches I couldn't see. This is another thing as well. This isn't really a random tangent tip of the day again, but when you get your car from the, the garage in MCO, it's so dark and dingy in that garage that you're looking for scuffs and you find few of them. There's so many you don't see like that. It's such a prominent scuff there and that didn't even show up um, last night. So yeah, I would wait until you get out and then do a video. Definitely do a video um, after you get out into the open basically because it's worth doing because they'll try and fleece you. That's the sort of company, that's what they are, aren't they? They're just, they're just there to make money and, and scam people. They'll, they'll, they'll um, yeah, they'll try and force insurance on you, toll passes, everything on you, so, yeah. Than me, Henny. I think I've slipped a disc doing it for me. <laughs> My toe's cramping up. So that's us here at Olive Garden, as Michael says. <laughs> Stop mimicking me. Yeah, this uh, uh we we were I mean I'm over to come tonight because yeah, we just wouldn't feel it after Tusk House we were a bit full. But yeah, we're coming for a bit of a late late dinner. It's eight o'clock, isn't it? So Paige's beautiful long hair. Oh, show me your jumper, Paige. Yeah. Chippendale. Oh, and they like that. Callum, you've got an awesome jumper as well. Show them. It's the same one I've been wearing. Yeah, it is, but it's still a cool jumper. I want a yeah. jumper like that, though. Um, that is... Yeah, that is so comfortable as well. But yeah, we're going to Olive Garden. Yeah. 
which is an Italian restaurant. So yeah, be interesting to, uh, you've heard good things about this, haven't you? Yeah. So the first time I've ever seen this, but I don't want to do that this thing today. here is left on the table. And it's basically, it's a tablet for the kids. So you've got games on it, you've got programs, you've got, but it's $1.99. So you pay $1.99. I'll click let's play. And then, and then basically, yeah, you play. And then yeah, it charges you one that I don't know if I just click press play, guys, but I don't really know. Guys, guess what? I can make a noise as a bird. That's cool, isn't it? Just an update. <laughs> I actually did pay for the £1.99. I didn't know I had, but when you press let's play, so just this is another top tip. Don't press let's play. It doesn't give you the option of adding it, it just boom, you click let's play. So a kid can literally I am comparing myself to a kid here, aren't I? That doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> but yeah, I literally pressed Let's Play and it was like, yeah. And so I spoke to him, I spoke to the server and blamed my daughter. I said, my daughter just pressed Let's Play and, it's and he said, oh, I'm going to take it off the uh, the bill for you because it just gets added to your bill, £1.99. So... Which is not expensive, but no, our kids if, have their own tablet. Exactly. If, if Paige didn't have her own phone or tablet and Callum didn't, then I'd say £1.99, do it, because it looks like a really good um, tablet, to be honest. It's got games and apps on there. So yeah, 100% recommend it, but £1.99 isn't exactly expensive either, is it? It's quite yeah. cheap, quite cheap. quite cheap. So yeah. We so are a tablet loving family. Yeah, we are. I'm not even ashamed. There's probably yeah. a few people watching this going, oh, they look at their kid sitting there playing on the phone. If it makes our time out more enjoyable, yeah. We don't I'm have to explain ambience. ourselves to anyone either, no. do we? So, but yeah, some won't like it, some will like it, but yeah, each their own. We are firmly for it. So yeah, £1.99, just think twice before you press let's play. Here are the famous breadsticks everyone talks about. They're not what I was expecting, they're they soft. They look really good though. They do look really good, they're soft. I was expecting like, you know, crunchy breadsticks. But they look good. They smell amazing. So the salad just came out and that looks incredible. He said, would you like cheese on your salad? Which, if anyone knows my wife, <laughs> he's a little cheese addict. She was like, uh, yes please, and he was like, just tell me when to stop. So as you can see, she just didn't say stop. I did say to him, I'm not going to say stop. But yeah, it looks amazing. Callum went for a pasta with a meatball and chips or fries. What are you, uh, What was your sauce, Callum? Some cheese sauce. Uh, it was exactly... Alfredo. Yes, Alfredo. And Paige went for a pepperoni pizza with, what side did you get, Paige? Great. Wait. This Sarah went for the All Italian, is that what it was called? We we make it tour of Italy. Tour of Italy, similar. Um, it was the lasagna, I think it's a carbonara, and is that chicken? Chicken parmesan, um, whatever yeah, it's called. And it's got cheese coated on it. Um, it smells amazing. I said amazing. stop this time. She did have to say stop. Yeah, so it looks amazing, smells amazing. How was your pasta, Callum? It was good. Yeah, good. How's your pizza, Paige? Oh, he's the meatball. I really want to How's your pizza, Paige? Good. I didn't get anything tonight. Uh, I tend my appetite tends to go really low when um, when it's hot. So uh, yeah. He says that, but he's already eaten two breadsticks and a whole bowl of salad. So that's me done now. Apart from this, I'm probably going to eat half of this, half of this, and half of this. You can have some. <laughs> I'm not going to eat all this. It's a lot. No, I don't. I'm, I'm really not hungry, but I will try a bit. So Sarah, what's your verdict on the food here? This this pasta is amazing. Oh, look, I haven't tasted this one yet. And the chickens, it's all right, standard, it's not amazing, yeah. but this is. Yeah, that's good. I don't even know what these are called, but they're like Italian donuts. I'll find out the name, but you can have them with chocolate sauce or raspberry sauce. We went for chocolate sauce and I'm not no, hungry. We, we went for raspberry sauce, didn't we? You just said chocolate. Did I? We went for raspberry sauce. That's raspberry. Anyway, <laughs> it smells amazing. I honestly can't even explain this smell. It smells incredible. Uh, so yeah. Do you want to try one, Sarah? Yeah. The plate's hot, be careful. Yeah, the plate is hot. So are they, they're really hot. Catch they're them. really hot, okay. <laughs> we'll be back. What's your thoughts, Sarah? Yeah. Oh, wow. I've just tried some and I thought it was really good, like, really good. So it tastes like a donut, like a, a fluffy donut. So good. What do you think, Alan? It's really good. Yeah. Any snacks that you think are good that are worth trying in Disney or Orlando in general, comment down below because I will be adding them to our list.
if you haven't told already, we're very much, yeah, yeah, we're very much foodie. So anything people recommend, we will add to that list and we will try it and we will vlog about it and we will explain whether we like it or not. Overall, this food, I'd say the overall rating, would you say 8.5? Is that fair? What do you think? You add more than me, so. Yeah, 8.5. 8.5. That's what I would have given anyway. Those donuts alone would have been a strong 9, 9.5. But, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to dip your finger in the sugar page. Um, but yeah, overall, the meal's been really nice, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, glad we tried it. So, it's been very good. The pasta was... Pasta was lovely. Yeah. The pasta was lovely, so yeah. Solid win for Olive Garden. Guys, right, that concludes our day eight vlog series of Bailey's Do Disney. Uh, so today, what do we, I don't know why I struggled to get out so much, but I always do. Past. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was distracted, but yeah. But, um, so what did we do today? We had uh, Animal Kingdom Day. Yes. We had a chilled out morning. We got our face painted. Yeah, we got our face painted. We yeah, we went to Tusker House. Uh, it was really good. It was a really good. It was a really good day, wasn't it? It was amazing. Yeah, we went home, went in the pool. Yeah, went in the pool. Yeah, and then came for dinner at Olive Gardens. It's been a really good day. And it didn't uh, storm today. And it didn't storm today, which has been a highlight. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's been amazing. What's your highlight of the day been, guys? Start Ooh. with you, Paige. Go. So my highlight day is Big Thunder Mountain, and then the next. No, Expedition Everest. It's and, okay, they're similar. And then, and then Simba. Lion King show, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what about yours, Cameron? Mine was just chilling out in the pool, um. to be honest. Yeah, that, yeah. What about yours, sir? Mine was the Lion King show. The Lion so King good. show. Yeah. Mine, Callum Stoll, I didn't know who was going to say that, I genuinely didn't, but yeah, mine was spending time uh, in the pool with Ooh, the family. I have another one. Go the on. Time with my family. Spending time with the family, she loves that one, doesn't she? We, yeah, to be honest, the, in the pool today, it was so much fun. Um, it's the and first mommy, time we've actually got to do it this yeah, mommy, in, a, in a week, isn't it? Yeah. And also, mommy comes in it today. Yeah, her, yeah. She, she never goes in the pool. She, yeah, no. She has. We've been too busy. We really. I've only been in the pool a couple of times. I don't have time to go in the pool and watch and this. I know. It's so day nine tomorrow is Hollywood Studios and Gideon's Cookie in the morning. We keep on saying we'll do stuff and then we mix it up. So yeah, that is the plan though tomorrow. Um, hopefully get on Tower of Terror for Callum. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.